right. I painted these flowers the other day, and they are to go on the trailer as an out as an exterior decoration. If you want some teak, you can see we've got that. So this is why we put the door on the other side, so that um, our tenant at the time wouldn't be so stuck. <laughs> All right. And there's a nice initial view. I'm going to take you through, give you a quick view. The um, trailer was basically finished up to the level where it was a bedroom. And then we were going to keep working on it until it was self-sustaining and add in the water and the electric later. However, the tenant decided to move out early. So, we have not completed those and are looking to trade this for a van or a shuttle bus. All these are new. We took this off to get it in here and we can put that back on. It's unused. One of the pieces is still in the house. I'll make sure you get that. We actually made those vinyl planks. The floor and the table are both covered with the same uh, vinyl planks. And then these all come up as storage, but the previous tenant saw a spider. And instead of putting in the uh, ant traps we gave her, she literally screwed them all shut. So we'll unscrew those. <laughs> now this, um, I actually made this walnut countertop myself. Um, and we have the doors, they're actually back there. To go on this, we just were working on our third time attempting to get it perfectly level. And it's not perfectly level, and it's driving us crazy. But it's all made with reclaimed wood. There is the sink and the um, faucet that we got. Actually, the faucet is a bit big for the sink, so we're probably going to replace that with one out of our kitchen and keep that one here. Um, this we designed to cover this. This was originally the range hood vent. Let me make sure this is screwed in properly so that when I show you I don't embarrass myself. But these are the drinking glasses. And yeah, that's good. And we just made this to screw up here. Yay. And then that way, save some cabinet space. And there's the microwave. We also have an induction cooktop, a um, griddle, and a three-in-one little coffee pot, toaster oven, and griddle unit. Now this is a 3,000 watt inverter, and this is a 1,000 watt inverter. Again, it is not hooked up. All of the lights that we have right now are double A, basically, and most of them have timers to come off. They've got lights underneath all the cabinets. And it looks like they're burned out. I'll change out all those batteries. Um, my kids have been coming in here every now and then and hanging out. This is the bathroom area. We have replaced this and we took out the old rotted wood and the old rotted shower. And I have a composting toilet um, we are installing this door right here, um, however we didn't have the frame, as I showed in another part of the video, so we went and found a new door with a new frame. My husband's going to replace that board, and I believe replace this one as well, because like, it was halfway rotted, but then what we're going to do is, well, um, but this leads to the outside, and we uh, put some insulation and um, in between the board and the exterior because it was leaking. Um, this is the closet. You see how we put the little backsplash. Our tenant actually did that. And we have also, um, in addition to the fridge, microwave, induction cooktop, panini grill, and three-in-one piece, we also have um, 
uh, a freestanding window or freestanding AC unit with one of the um, hoses that goes out the window. And that way um, you'll have air conditioning and we'll probably install it permanently back here so that it could be by the heater. This is a buddy heater. One of the most popular um, heaters for RV life for a reason. It's very, very um, powerful and safe as far as carbon monoxide. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions. We worked really hard on this and I would love it for I would love it to bring joy to other people. Um, there's still a few things we haven't finished yet. Oh, look at that. I'll take that home. <laughs> there's still a few things we haven't finished yet, like all of the catches are not replaced. But anything that we haven't finished, like for example, installing these, I have a marine uh, deep cycle battery, I have um, the composting toilet, I have the kitchen sink, things like that. A lot of the things we haven't finished installing the components are all here, so that'll save you a ton of money. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, or if you want to see anything else a little more closely, have a good day.